Hi guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about losing weight after this whole corona lockdown. Most of us have been homebound, working from home, not being able to go out as much, not going out on holidays, not hanging out with friends, not doing the usual sports. I'm sure you know where I'm coming from. We've all become fat, including yours truly. Many of the people and viewers who see me, they say, oh no, you're not fat. Uh, the thing is, being fat doesn't mean you have to be obese and look massive. Being fat is just being overweight. So what it means to be fat for me might mean something else for you. And that's the thing because we all have our own standards and criteria. For me, I went to see my um, doctor for my annual checkup and they measured all my stats and told me that I was five kilograms, which is just under a stone, heavier than I was this time last year. And when I look at my pictures from this time last year, um, over the summer when I was in the south of France, I thought I was a bit podgy and a bit chubby. Now, a lot of those who don't care about how the body is shaped may think, no, dude, you're okay. But for me, the biggest thing was that I don't fit into my normal clothes as well as I could. Uh, my blazers and my suits, when I button them up, they're really, really tight around my waist. And my jeans, if they're not stretchable, it's really hard to zip them up. That's a sign that I've put on weight and I guess different people put on weight differently. For me, my fat is evenly distributed all around my body. So for whatever reason, um, it doesn't look like I have a lot of weight, but when I get on the scales, it is there. So I'm one of those people I don't uh, wish and hope and pray for some miracle to happen. When I want to change something, when I want to do something, I go and get it and do it. So I've heard a lot about intermittent fasting. In the last couple of years, I've done intermittent fasting and I usually do it one week a month for three months to stabilize my metabolism in my body. But this time, because I had to lose so much weight, I decided that I'm going to do it for a whole month. Uh, 30 days, so from 12, p.m. in the afternoon until 8 p.m. at night, that's 18 hours, that's when I can eat. And then the 16 hours, which is 8 p.m. until midday the next day, I have to fast. And usually eight hours of that you're sleeping, so you have to deal with four hours on either side. I did that for a week. It was very easy. And I realized it's not really pushing my body enough. It's not making me feel hungry and starving and therefore maybe I need to do more because there's a good possibility that it's not going to have the impact I am looking for. So I changed the time from 12 to 8 to 12.30 to 7.30. So I added another hour by adding half an hour on either side. I did that for a few days and I could start to feel that, you know, it was impacting my body. And after that, I decided that even that wasn't good enough. So I changed it from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. That means I have six hours of eating time and then I have to fast the rest of the time. Then I actually started feeling like from 11 o'clock in the morning until 1, I was really starving and hungry. And sometimes if I was up until 12, then I would start feeling hungry at night as well. But in two weeks, I lost two and a half kilos. And well, I say two weeks, maybe two and a half, almost three weeks now. And I feel so much better. When I eat, I get full very quickly because my stomach has shrunk. Um, I have these weighing scales that monitor my body weight, my fat content, my muscle content, my BMI my visceral fat, which is the fat around our organs inside, and my fat around the rest of my body. And I can already see it's, it's going down very slowly, but it is going down 
and it went from high to average and that's a very good thing of course I don't want it to be average I want it to be good and healthy so my body fat content I think is about 25% at the moment which I think personally for me is too high and I haven't done any exercise because of this fasting you lack energy and it's hard to exercise because you feel lethargic and tired a lot but on the other hand I think if I can lose the weight the fat bring my body to a decent level after this one month of fasting then I can start running and doing other exercises and get my muscles and my body going so I thought I should share this with those of you who are interested in losing weight uh, do it for yourself don't ask people don't talk to people don't ask your friends and family what they think whether you're fat or not because this is all about you your health and your well-being most of my friends and people I know they said oh you know when you get to a certain age it's okay and if you lose weight your face will look shriveled so it's better to have some meat so you your skin looks better someone was saying oh it's normal you don't even look fat I ignored all of those comments because this isn't about anyone else this is about me how does my liver function when it has so much fat and so much garbage to deal with how does my heart cope when it has to pump blood if you look at any of those um, videos where they show how fat is distributed in the tissues you will see that the muscles have more blood vessels and they're thicker so the blood can flow through it whereas if you look at the fat it is fine blood vessels and the blood has to be pushed through so the heart has to work extra hard uh, to pump blood through the fat if you have too much fat in your body your liver has to deal with a lot of stuff and kidneys and all these things so I personally think that there's no reason why as we grow older we need to be unhealthy and suffer with all kinds of diseases like diabetes hypertension liver problems and all that because we can't be bothered so let's be bothered for our own sake for our own health whether you live up to 65 or 100 is irrelevant as long as you live a very healthy life and until your last day you think my body is doing everything it's supposed to do so I thought I should make this little video to inspire you to go out and start fasting um, you'll you'll be surprised how it will change you because um, you will start craving for things that you didn't crave before um, I'm eating more salads and fruits which I didn't really eat before and similarly my stomach has shrunk so I'm not eating as much as I used to or could before I can't because my stomach stretches and I start feeling uncomfortable and I feel like I'm going to be sick so all of these things are very good um, so fasting is easy you can drink water you can drink tea you can drink coffee all without milk and you can just not eat and when you can eat you can eat whatever you want but you'll see what I'm talking about when you start eating there'll be things that you won't want anymore it's just how it is it's amazing anyway thanks for watching until the next one